Today marks a sad milestone in an East Tennessee missing child investigation that has captured national attention. Summer Wells has been missing for 1,000 days. The five-year-old disappeared from her rural Hawkins County home in June of 2021. The little girl liked Paw Patrol and was preparing to start kindergarten. If alive, she is now eight years old. And here's the TBI's latest age progression image of what she could look like today. Summer's mother says the little girl was last seen inside her family's Beach Creek home. The TBI calls the search for Summer one of the most exhaustive and involved missing child case it's ever investigated and promised not to stop searching for Summer until it finds answers. She is still the subject of an Amber Alert. Anyone with information can call 1-800-TBI-FIND. Hello, Today folks. marks a sad... How's everybody doing? Yeah, this, this is a sad... This is a sad story that um, came out back in uh, 2021 on June 15th about Little Summer Wells. And um, boy, I, I tell you, I covered this story so much. I kept up with it, hoping, you know, every day that uh, they would, would hear some news that um, Summer had been found. But unfortunately, we have not been able to hear that news. So, so I thought that uh, today I would uh, do a reading. I've, I've had a lot of people ask me to do readings, and I actually did readings back in the, in the day. I just took them down. I don't have them up no more. And with some of the readings that I did back then was really, I mean, and I just kind of... Um, kind of just practiced around with the cars just to see what would pop up. And boy, some of the stuff that came up about the family and the situation was just crazy. And um, so I went ahead uh, today and I've done a reading. And um, I think that I think you are going to find this, uh, well, pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and uh, well, let's get started, shall we? Now, before we get started here, for uh, I do want to mention that, uh, of course, this is for, uh, I have to say this, in, for entertainment purposes only, okay? But I um, know I'm not a psychic, I'm not a medium, I just practice studying the cards and the board you're going to see here, this is, oh, this is, is all kind of stuff that I have created to try to communicate with uh, the spirits. And um, I think you may find it definitely interesting. So I uh, just wanted to make sure you knew what was going on. And I'll kind of pause as we go and kind of give you some clues of what's going on and, and my thoughts. Now, I do have also I have a, a, a dear friend. You may have um, heard me talking about her in other videos. Her name is Marilyn, and she is a dear friend. She's 82 years young <laughs> and uh, she's a, a psychic yeah she's been a psychic for many 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 years and she reads all these things and all this uh, the cards and she has all kind of stuff i did manage to get some of her match boxes you see there on the table um i asked her if i could borrow them and uh because i wanted to change things up a little bit and she said oh sure go ahead um she actually has an extra set so she she said yeah go ahead and i'll explain what these are here in just a minute so let's get started hello, if i have any spirits here hello to you my name is george and today's session is about summer Summer Moon, Utah Wells. It's been a while since we've talked about her. She's still in everybody's thoughts, I'm sure. She's the uh, young lady, young girl that went uh, missing in Hawkins County up in Rogersville, Tennessee. Back in uh, 2021, June 15th is when she went missing. You know, folks, I tell you, it is... When I tell you it's just crazy, th 
thinking about how long it's been and um and still we have no information on her whereabouts but um towards the end of this i want to i want to share with you what marilyn she's done many readings on this but i'm gonna and she did a thought stone and all this on it and i'll share that with you towards the end and this is this is to uh talk to her do we have a we have a spirit and all these devices, folks, um, if you haven't seen the other videos, these are just devices that I use. This is an electronic magnetic reader. It picks up sig or energy uh, close to the board there. So if there's a spirit or anything, um, you know, that's in my range, possibly it's picking it up and it's trying to communicate. Spirit, if, you, if you're here, I want to find out if you're here. Can you register? If you'll make this, if you'll make this light go red, if you'll make this, if you'll make this machine go red, can you make the screen go red? Are you here? Do I have a spirit here? Are you here? Yep. It looks like we may have one. Okay. You can communicate with all these devices, spirit. Okay. I think we have us a spirit here. I believe so. It sure okay. appears. I felt like let's that find verse. out if you are an adult male, if you're a adult female, or if you're a a child male or a child female. We have These are the uh, matchboxes that uh, my dear friend Marilyn she uses. Uh, she she uses these to identify you know the spirits that possibly may be. Uh, you know with her in the session and she will give them names and i'm going to do the same thing here so. some matches in here and show you see that would be the adult now and let's see there's the child female you see that there's the child male and we have the adult female matchstick Let's just move these around. Oh, you're communicating. Okay. I love this because Marilyn said, that, you know, if a spirit is around and they are like children in some senses, uh, they will want to, you know, try to uh, manipulate items on the board and around you and try to communicate with you. Okay. Now, if you are a spirit that likes to play games... And you can tell me if you were a male, a female, a child male, or a female child. Um, I'm going to roll the dice. And I need a one, two, three, or four. Can you help roll the dice here for me? I need a one, two, three, or four. I need a one, two, three, or four. A four. <laughs> okay. Very good. And... Let's see. Okay, we have an adult female. Yeah, I asked Marilyn. So, what do you think? What What does that mean? And she said that, um, in a spirit world, that it's possible that you may have that I may have had a uh, a, a female spirit that was, uh, you know, an older female spirit and was trying to guide some of the things here. Um, but she's, she felt like that in her sense of reading this, what she saw about the whole video here, um, and that's what she does. She doesn't do YouTube or nothing like that, but she looks at the video that I make and she kind of, and she'll make a, an exception. And she, she says that it's, she felt like the, that there was a present of a female, uh, on this session here or in the session. So it was, that's interesting. Ooh, I hear you communicating. I hear you. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since we have an adult female, you can communicate. I'm going to give you a name. And I want to name you Josephine. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, this is another thing, folks, too. Um, Marilyn says it is really a wonderful idea to try to name a spirit that's in your session. Uh, you never want them to feel like they're... Um, 
you know, that you're afraid of them or that you fear them, that you want to, but you want to try to give them a name and associate with them just like children, uh, you know, to, or, you know, or meeting adults for the very first time. You want to try to associate yourself with them and, and give them a name. And, and she feels like that if you give them a name, they, they tag on to that and they love that. So that's why the, that's why Josephine is here on the board. Josephine. You can communicate with me in any way you want here on the board. Now I have some little colored little sticks here. And I want to find out more about summer whales if you can help me. And we have yellow, which is spring. Green, it will be for uh, summer. The red one, or the orange one, would be for fall. And the blue one would be for uh, winter. Yep, and this is another thing too that I've done in the past... Um, not so much on video, but uh, when I'm practicing, just sitting around the table. And like I said, I'm not a psychic, but I do love to just, you know, uh, dabble with this. Uh, Marilyn said, said that what she does, she uses, um, she tries to bring out information about what season that, you know, uh, the spirit that is around her at the table, What what is the season that the spirit's trying to get us to focus on so that's why why you see this is there something on this board or some kind of information you can help me with that'll let me know what season we potentially may be talking about or that we need to concentrate on for whatever reason oh wow summer yeah so the season summer possibly Maybe this spirit, the female spirit here, Josephine, is trying to say something about the summer. And, you know, this did, ta did take place in the summer where she went missing. So, very interesting. So, there we go. We'll put you right there. To adult fever. Now, one more thing, Josephine, that uh, we're going to do with some numbers here. i got a bunch of numbers in the bag here. Will you help me pull out two numbers that'll help us understand something about the Summer Wells case? It's been a long time, and it's uh, we just want some information. If there's any information, ooh, I hear you. You are you are beeping. Our first number here is five. Okay, ooh, I hear you. I'm gonna pull out one more number here. Spirit Josephine, and we have 59. Yeah, 59. I have no idea. Um, I believe, wasn't she, wasn't she five years old when she went missing? I believe she was. Um, I'm trying to look on here. Yep, age five. She was five years old, so I wonder if that's the five that, that means. But what would the nine be? I tried to look. I was thinking that, um, but you know what, folks? Isn't she going to be nine years old this coming June? Is that right, I think? Or will she be eight? Um, my math's off. But let me know in the comments what you think that nine means. Okay. That's interesting. Well, all right. You've helped us so far to wow. find out an adult um, female that's either in her presence or we're talking about an adult female, something about it. And I'm going to ring the bell. Spirit Josephine, and if there's any negative spirits here, I want all the negative spirits to go away. Yep. So Josephine, yep. we've got an adult female. We're talking about summer, the or the 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 uh, season of summer, possibly. And of course, we're talking about summer wells. We're also talking about possibly a number five and a number nine, either fifty-nine or individual. We don't know. So. Josephine, I have some of the spirit tarot cards here. Yeah, and I always tell folks that I only do one of the spirit tarot cards, uh, and I can get so much of a story out of that one card. It is really, really something. It really is. I want to see if you can help me. Maybe there will be a card here that you can help me with. Maybe you can help me with. I'm going to pull one card, and I'm going to roll the dice, and if you can, help me with a card. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shuffle these. Ooh, I hear you. 
Oh my goodness. Well, you're loud and clear. Yep. Okay. I'm going to reset you there. Like I said, you can communicate. I'm going to roll the dice and just tell me how many how many ro or how many cards that I shuffle until I get to the one card. Four. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, Josephine. Let's see if you what you what you chose. Let's see if it's uh, reversed or upright. Let's see what it is here. Uh -huh. The Seven of Pentacles. Everybody see that? I'll turn it around though. It's the Seven of Pentacles, but it was re reversed. Yeah, the uh, Seven of Pentacles, folks. Um, and like I always say, Marilyn says that you should always look uh, at the cards. No matter what uh, tarot cards you were using uh, or spirit cards, always try to look at the card because the artist was able to capture something magical in this card. You know, something that's, that's speaking to us. We know it's a pinnacle card in the seven, but, there, you know, this card is saying something. Look at the character there. It's just like hmm what is what is this character trying to say is he up to something uh what what does that mean so let's continue on i've got some information here about the card in a general context the seven of pentacles tarot card reversed can indicate that you may have been working very hard or putting lots of effort into something for little pay or reward it can also indicate someone taking on too much overdoing it or being a workaholic. You may be feeling that nothing you do pays off while others seem to get what they want easily. Alternatively, this minor arcana card in a reversed position can represent a lack of effort, procrastination, laziness or aimlessness when it appears in your tarot spread. It can also signify a change of plans or life direction, a lack of life direction, or not taking stock of things, and reflecting on things when you should. The Seven of Pentacles reversed represent lack of growth, setbacks, delays, frustration, impatience, and not finishing what you started. Yeah, that, that is a very so, interesting card, folks, because um, Marilyn says that it's a crossroads card. It's a, it's a hesitant card it's a um, card that's focused on different things but it's manifest manifesting you know um, planning something that's mischievous something that that may not be most people won't find uh, that they would agree with and you know there's been many a talk about you know um potential and i'm not blaming anyone i'm not accusing anyone of anything but it, you know they you know, Summerwell's parents, they have, uh, you've heard many people talk about um, that people that n know them personally, that, you know, there's a lot of drug addiction going on, alcohol addiction, uh, a lot of problems that was in that home. And some people feel that uh, that's the reason that Summer went missing. They also uh, feel that uh, uh, Don may have done something to summer you know that uh that shouldn't have never happened but you know like i said it's all hearsay uh we don't know for sure because you know we don't we we just don't know but uh, it it is interesting that this card came up and is saying that and the next card that's going to be coming up is almost saying the identical thing that this one is in a different way it'll be the card of mints pentacles okay cards. We'll go over that. That's a yep. that's a studying that's card for sure. Hmm. Yeah, that's that is very interesting there. Okay, Josephine, we have some more cards here. I'd like for you to help me with. These are the uh, Cardamency cards, and uh, but first we're going to see about our fortune teller. Now, Josephine, Spirit Josephine, we have some uh, fortune tellers here. 
Will you help me pick a fortune teller so we can get to these cards here? Give me a one, two, three, or four. A four. <laughs> you are doing very good. All right. Whoops. One, two, three, and four. We'll just say it's that. There we go. Oh, looky here. Yep. We, we have Madame Clementine Delade. What a story, folks. I got to tell you, this story, if you haven't watched the little video on her and all the other fortune tellers that I use on, the, on my board, uh, if you will, take time to do that. I try to put a link. I'll try to put a link in the description so you can find it because some people may not be able to find it. But this is a very, very good story. And what a... Uh, this this lady was just bold. She she wanted to grow a she, she well just watch the video and you will get a story. But it's it's very interesting. She was a very different fortune teller. I can tell you that. So, but um, <laughs> the bearded lady, and she and, represents a spade. Yeah, she represents the the spade. And I always try to tell people uh, that each one of the the uh, fortune tellers. It's either club, heart, spades, or diamonds that they will represent. And she always represents the spades. So in the cardamancy world, this is what you're getting ready to see. It's where they're, where you can tell fortunes with poker cards. So it's very, very she interesting. She represents the spade. So I love her story. Thank you for that, uh, Miss Josephine. So, like I said, we have the cards here. These are cardamancy. I'm going to flip through these cards, and uh, we're going to see. We're going to just come to the first spade, and that's going to help us understand a little bit, possibly a little bit more with uh, summer well. So, the first spade we come to, and oh, wow, that didn't take long. Look at that, and that is the five of spades. Yep. So here we go, folks. Take a look at this card. What a what a character card. Kind of a scary card because you've got, you know, the tree limbs and you've got crows and people talking. And you know, crows are some of the smartest birds in the world. They really are. Um, but um, what this what this card is going to tell us is very interesting. Like I said, it's kind of like from the the last card you know the the terror spirit card so now this is what we've got on here so we've got uh, now frustration is the and fear and frustration and Marilyn says she see, she sees exactly what this is the parents is talking to the parents this is something that's stemmed from the parents and then you have dangerous forests and, and haunting wilderness wilderness of the unknown and Marilyn is kind of like, she will just tell you right up front that, you know, that what Summer experienced, she felt like was something that was so dangerous and unknown, and it was preying animals, and we're talking about human, human animals, okay, preying uh, on children, and something dangerously, she felt like, happened to Summer, but... Um, uh, I don't know. It's it's that's crazy that this came up. Um, and let's listen to what it says here. Oh, and um, th these cards they always mean something from the state and the country. This is Maine, the state of Maine, and Czechoslovakia, uh, the country. So don't know if that means anything, um, but that's what this card is stating that it. Maybe you know what that means. I don't know what it would be mean. But, um, see, I think... Encircled I'm... by the haunting crows, the way out from fear and frustration is unclear. The five of spades can represent interference from someone or something, such as meanness or unkindness from another. It could mean a reversal that's going to happen in a business or relationship. But it can also mean something positive happening in the future like eventual success, or maybe a very happy home if you overcome and rise above your fears and repair your downfalls. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a that's a powerful card when it comes to the presence of if it's talking about the parents, yeah, there's there's a lot of 
uh, stuff that's went on that that we all know, you know, I mean, we're talking about invisible eyes, dangerous waters, um, but the unknown is what Marilyn keeps talking about, that this is, this is something that somebody manifests something, just like on the Terror Spirit card, as you saw the first one there, you know, uh, the Seven of Pentacles, somebody manifests something from the family, and it was not good, it didn't turn out right, it was... It was just the wrong way. It didn't mean to happen the way that it did happen. So now the Cardamancy cards here, each one of these have a special message from the fortune teller. And this is from uh, Madame Clementine de Lady, And this is her message. Uh, the sun himself is weak when he first rises and then gathers strength and courage as the day gets on. I love that. That is a special message from uh, Clem, uh, Madame, uh, De Lady, Madame Clem Tengdai De Lady. It was a really good message, but yeah, this is an interesting the card. Haunting crows. Yep. Oh boy. Okay. Josephine, you're doing very good. We have another request uh, here. I have another request. I have the ghost blocks here. Yeah, folks, now, if you've not seen, I've had a lot of people, a lot of you folks watching, you love the ghost blocks and the messages, and I do too. Um, I just, I really do. I love all the different things that I can do to try to get a message from the spirits, and but the, the ghost blocks and the message bag uh, probably is one of my number one favorites because, you know, it, you just never know, and it will kind of just fit right in the, the story so here we I go i love the ghost blocks these blocks so uh, these cubes they have uh, pictures on them and images and we have 10 cubes in here one of them is a number dice what how many pictures would you like to try to communicate with me a six oh, oh, oh. okay so i'm gonna... Jos josephine wants the whole deal that's as most you can get there's like 10 dice in the bag so six is the most she could get get me to get Seven out of the bag here. and we have our first one here oh, oh, oh. it is the that one mass the theater mm. blah, blah, blah. the show yep all right let's see here we got Oh, wow. We yeah. have the L. That's, that has to do with a car. Yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah. Believe it or not. Wow. Okay. Oh, we have an insect. Mm. Yeah. All right. We're doing good, Josephine. Let's get another one here. Oh, we got the question mark. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yep. Two more. Boy, these things are just... This is crazy. Oh, look oh, at there. We got justice. <laughs> we got justice. <laughs> and one more. Justice is coming, hopefully. Yep. Oh, and we have we have more insects. Mm -hmm. Bedtime. Okay. Thank you, Josephine. You did good, did good, did good. Let's see. Yep. Again. So, yep. Negative spirits away from here. Yep. So we have the two masks. Yeah, here we go, folks. Entertainment, happy, sad shows, acting, truth, and lies, honest or dishonest, misused tricks. Folks, the these are two characters that plan things and try to act behind, try to make you believe stuff, to, to put on a show to make you understand and, and you know, and, and uh, pull you away from what's really happening. So it's a very, it's kind of a dishonest image here. You know, you're looking at happy and sad, but you're also looking at something that's trying to pull you away from what you really should be focusing on. And that's what the entertainers are doing here. They want, they don't want you to see the truth because they're tricking you. That's what, that's what Marilyn said on this diet. And I, I believe that. That's what I feel too. So I feel like something's like it's going on on this, so. We have yep. the uh, what looks like the letter L. I'll do. 
Okay, folks, now this this one here, a lot of people get stumped on this because they um, they see a letter L and they think it means somebody's name or some location or something like that. But honestly, what this is, is like over in Europe, they will put a sign like this in a car when somebody's learning how to drive. So, and the L just means learning. Like, you know, so we don't do that here. We just put a sign that's saying, you know, driver on board or training driver, whatever it says. But um, this, when this, when this come up, and this came up before when I did a Summer Wales reading back years ago, it came up and we always thought, you know, that there's something about a car and Marilyn's going to share something here with you. I'm going to, or at least I'm going to speak of what Marilyn shared um, we believe, we truly believe, and I believe that somebody had some, something for the disappearance of Summer Wells had something to do with somebody's car. So, but you can see it's got uh, license driving. So it's all about it. international traveling. And there's something else here that I'm thinking, you know, this could be possible, you know. So, but yeah, that's what this card is, um, or this car, this block mean so it's interesting when Let's this comes up, up. see that yep we have what looks like a bee an insect right now this one so I, I didn't really understand what i was looking at but Marilyn Marilyn said that she thinks that it's just the it's the the poison of what summer possibly just alleging could have been given um to make her sleep to uh make her not you know get um riled up or not know what's going on around her but uh as you can see now you folks look at that let me know in the comments what you think the b is standing for but um yeah it's and then you, of course you got fast traveling and that that's the thing that stood out to me Somebody, if somebody took off with uh, Summer Wells, they did this possibly in a car and they were driving very fast. So it's possible the spirit here, Josephine, has tried to, you know, is trying to mention stuff to us that we need to concentrate on. So it's interesting that this one come up too, I think. So, but uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think on that one. We have a question mark. Yep. Now this one, I mean, it's it says it says volume because, you know, we've questioned everything about this case. It's been questioned, and there's so many people that has questions, and I have questions. You have questions. We don't understand why and how did this happen? How could this happen? We don't know, you know. But it's just that's why this one possibly came up. But let me know. And also, you see the letter K. Don't know what that means, but each one of these blocks will have a, a different letter on there. So that's why you will see that. But yeah, definitely a lot of questions about mm. Summer Wells' case. And we have scales, the scales of justice. Oh yeah. boy. Yep. I think you I think you probably can figure this one out too. And I and I gotta tell you folks, the L for the car and this one, almost every time that I did this back in 2021 when she went missing, this came up. And so I'm still thinking that somebody's going to have justice for the, or Summer Wells is going to see her justice. Uh, you know, somebody's going to have to pay for her disappearance. And this one, all about truth and lies and law enforcement. Of course, you know, there was a lot of that law enforcement and a lot of unbalanced things that didn't seem right or and there was a lot of judgment you know that there was a lot of judgment on uh candace and don so and we all kind of just threw out our own opinion and judgment on this so i feel like if uh, this was one of the reasons josephine said hey this is this is a good one to and come out of the bag we have the bee or we have a insect a yeah. bug yeah a bug and again we have traveling folks. We have creepy, evil, and virus. And folks, I got to tell you, boy, this was, you know, and 
the year that uh, Summer went missing, you know, the following year we had the virus, you know, I mean, it, it was a terrible ordeal for all of us, for the world. But I keep seeing the traveling and it's just, I don't know if these are trying to tell, if the spirits are trying to talk to us about it. But yeah, I think, and then I see evil and that's what came out of this one is evil on this block. Let me know what you think on this block, but evil definitely. Wow. It's interesting. That was, it's very that was good. Okay. I have one more request here. I have one more request for you. Miss Josephine, we have the message bag. And I love yeah, the message bag, folks. Uh, so many people, you, so many of, um, of uh, you folks love the message bag because it is there's you never know what's going to come out there's like almost 1500 messages in there but um wait do you see what comes out of the bag the message bag and this here miss josephine there is 50, over over a thousand almost 1500 messages in here can you help me pull out a message that'll help us understand or that can communicate with summer wells something about Summer Wells' case or some kind of communication from um, some spirit that may know something about it, uh, Summer Wells' case. I'm going to roll the dice. How many messages would you like me to pull out of the bag? Three. Okay. Very good. Right. So I'm going to do it with this one. Do this one. Mix them up and we will do this one. I believe that is three. Let's see what our first one is. Let's see here. Ooh. Oh, wow. It says here, can you see that? It says, Search by the River. Search by the River, folks. Oh, when I saw that, I'm thinking, well, you know, they search that whole area. I mean, that whole area has been searched, but you know, there's always a chance that they could be, but what river would it be maybe trying to tell us about? And I just saw a comment the other day uh, about somebody talking about uh, Don Wells talking about uh, something about throwing a body. If you threw a body in a river, nobody would ever be able to find it. Um, and I think that was odd. There's there's some strange stuff that's come out of that man's mouth. You know that. So... But um, this one, let me know what you think oh, wow. this one means. Okay. Search by the river. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see here what this one says. What you are looking for is in the woods. Wow, folks, down that one, also that one got me too. I'm like, okay, so we got river, we're looking in the woods. Uh, did we miss something? Um, and I mean, anything's possible, right? I mean, if if somebody did something with Summer, they could have took her by the river and threw her in the river. They, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, they, or they could have buried her in the woods. But I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you think this one, this oh one is. So. What you are looking for is in the woods. That okay. is interesting. Finally. Wow. I will be, tr oh my goodness. I will be trying to talk to you in the upcoming future. Wow, folks, if you can see that. Isn't that something? That is crazy that that came up, folks. That's crazy that came up. That, that uh, the spirit here is, this paper is saying that they, that it will be, trying to communicate to, with us in the upcoming future. Boy, I just, I'm like, oh, my Gosh. cow. I will be trying to talk to, to you in the upcoming future. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. Okay. I'd say that is a very good reading right there. Yep. Spirit Josephine, thank you for uh, your presence. You're now welcome to leave this session of Summer Wells. Yeah, that uh, definitely interesting, folks. So I got to tell you, this whole the whole situation with uh, 
Summer Wells is just so sad, the whole story. And uh, let me share with you what Marilyn says. And and her story, she goes into a whole... I wish I could record her. She don't want to be recorded uh, or anything like that. But she said this when she did her session, when she did her thought uh, stones, and she does, like, she has, like, all kind of rocks and marbles and all kind of stuff that she holds. And, um, but she said that she saw in her vision... She uh, said that she saw, like, mailboxes passing by, you know, like if you were driving down the road. Um, she saw, like, um, muddy feet, like a child's muddy feet. Uh, she said it could have been Summers. She don't know for sure, but it was definitely a child's muddy feet, barefooted, uh, running through the mud. But uh, she also said that she saw a trail that led from the summer's house down to the bottom of the road and it went to a shed she said in that vision of hers she saw summer in this shed she saw summer setting in the shed now remember folks this is all alleged we're not accusing anything or anyone or anything but this is Marilyn's vision what she said now I jotted this all down so and she said that Summer is sitting there, but she's sleeping in a chair. She's not awake. Somebody pulls up in a car, she says in her vision, and 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 grabs Summer, but puts money, money on a wooden, old wooden uh, table that's in the shed. And they take Summer. Then from that point, she gets a vision of palm trees she gets a vision of traveling air uh, like airports um and she but she said and it just kind of faded there but she said that the last real image that she got of it was summer crying and that she was in some sort of uh like a like a village house she you know, like a like a hut or something like that but that was that's all she could really get out of it. So that's Marilyn's vision, and boy, it's, it's powerful. So, But uh, yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, somebody manifesting stuff, and then the crows, you know, we've got, you know, the uh, dangerous waters and inv invisible eyes, all kind of stuff going on. So yeah, I I tell you, this was, this was a hard, um, a difficult reading. Uh, the reason I did it, because, you know, we always want to try to, you know, keep a light on the missing. And, and, and it would just be um, something if we could just find out that Summer Wells is still alive and that somebody's found her. So, you know, her photo was up here. They, you know, TBI made up this photo, what, a, year, a couple of years ago or so, of what... Uh, summer would look like you know maybe a little older and she probably would similar you know be similar looking to this photo so but um as always if you do know anything about summer wells her whereabouts please call tbi you know the 1-800 tbi fine because they pro they would take any kind of tip as long as it's legible and, and that they could use and not a tip from social media you know not that but something like if you actually saw a child that looks like Summer, um, you know, let them know because I'm sure they will investi investigate that. Well, folks, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it an evening. If you uh, if you did like this video, uh, you know, if he's just reading this, if you will, hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, if you would do so, it'll let you know that when I'm putting out another uh, reading and I'm working on another one, um uh, or sebastian rogers um i've done quite a few on them so far but um i want to do another one and kind of go into maybe what maybe happened to him you know but um we'll see we'll see how that goes and uh but uh folks i sure appreciate you watching and as i always say if you have any loved ones uh please just give them a hug because you never know folks uh, you know, give them a hug, tell them you love them, because you never know what the next day is going to bring. 
Well, folks, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you have a very good evening. And until next time, folks, this is George, and I'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.